Angel Dust, Bleed, 12 tracks, 65 minutes. <coughs> the fourth studio album from the German heavy metal band released on April 1999 by Century Media Records, produced by Siggy Bem and the band, uh, recorded at Woodhouse Studios in Hagen, Germany. No real single or chart info on this one, um, but this album saw the band take on a darker direction musically while keeping their sense of melody. This is from <coughs> Nick, and he's not here to defend this one, mm-hmm. so we'll see how this one goes. Uh, this was a big surprise, actually. I was expecting death metal based on the name, Angel Dust. Um, turns out they were fresh, but then the last they changed their um, style of power metal, mm. and in places it reminds me of Shadow Gallery, so I was quite happy. Uh, the album opens up with the keys, and I'm waiting for things to deafen up a bit, and but normal vocals kicked in and I was very happy uh, the keys and guitars fit together great and really complement each other their parts would be great on their own but together they sound amazing uh, great use of melody and the solos are very well structured and thought out nice diversity throughout the album lots of different shades and textures uh, there are some songs that clock in around the 6 and 7 mark so it's almost epic not dream theater epic but <laughs> epic enough for me um, 8 out of 10 uh, Bleed, Black Rain, Never, Addicted to Serenity, Liquid Angel, Temple of Kings, Follow Me, 1 and 2, which should have been one song. Nick gets an award because he picked two great albums. Mm. Mm. Which yeah. really is a fail because that wasn't the point. Mm. <laughs> Here you go. All right. Um, this reminded me of Sabotage, mm. um, yeah. Edge of yeah, Thorns album. Yeah. And I love that album. That's my favourite Sabotage album. So as soon as this kicked in, I'm like, hello, what the hell is this band and why haven't I come across this before? Mm. Hi, Caesar. No, it's Nala. Hey, Nala. Caesar. All right. Get, I'll get you right eventually. One day. Yeah. Um, I, I actually thought, wow, this is an awesome sounding record. Like, mm. it all sonically sounded fantastic. I love the way they use the keys. Mm. Um, the vocals in spots and in, not all the time but in spots he reminded me of Dio yeah it's just fair. his pronunciation of, mm. and I'm too. like fuck man you know you're a great singer you know if you can come across but not sound like a carbon copy but just have those tendencies yeah. you're doing something good the um, worst people to model yourself after <clears throat> no oh, exactly yeah, yeah. Um, the keys are used perfectly you know I love when they do take over it's not for too long yeah. it, it sets really good atmosphere and mood um Everything sits perfectly sonically on this album. I think it's a masterpiece, this album. Mm. I, how I didn't come across it back in the day, you know, because I liked Halloween and a few other bands, and these yeah. they fall right in that category of that style, which I'm very selective on, and I think they do it fantastic. Um, it's everything you want in a metal album, really. Even the artwork was fantastic. Yeah. Like, yeah, cool. I don't normally talk about yeah. the artwork, but it really symbolises yeah. the album very well. I thought it was really good. Um, huge harmonies, heavy riffs, mm. good changes of pace at times. Um, it's fantastic. I, 10 out of 10. Oh, I, I could, cool. couldn't fault it at all. Bleed, Never, Follow Me Part 2, Insanity. Nice. Yeah, so I'm not going to lie, this album took me a couple of listens. Uh, you know, as has been touched, that kind of classic power metal kind of vibe. Um First things first, these guys are very good musicians. They can really play. Everything came across really well. The use of the keys was interesting. Mm. I, um, as I said, it took me a couple of goes. And the more I listened to it, the more I liked it. But when I first heard it, I'm not going to lie, I found it really annoying. Wow. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know. It just didn't... So this is your pig destroyer for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not quite. Because, like... Um, pig destroyer for the next generation. Yeah. It's... it's <laughs> It's not even that. It was more, you know, it wasn't what I was expecting to hear yeah. and it just kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. And yeah. I was surprised at what came out of the speakers. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck, man. yeah. Oh, good surprise. Uh, production's excellent. Uh, everything sounds really good. Um, there's no real standout for me. I couldn't quite, you know, I, I didn't think the songs were that spectacular, but everything was good enough. Um, I gave it a 7 out of 10. Cool. Good. Um, whenever I hear sort of German power metal, I generally tread pretty carefully because... It generally shits me. They, they, they all sound very, very similar. So like you just said, I was really surprised to hear what came out of the speakers. I really, really dug it. Um, no, never hearing of Angel Dust, I had no idea what to expect, so I made a bunch of assumptions based mm. on cover art and everything, and I got something completely different, which was great. Um, this one just sat really well, nicely with me. Like, yeah. Mm, just, yeah. Yeah. I'm odd. So it's heavy, <laughs> it's melodic, uh, great vocals and guitars. I really clever use of keys I thought mm. and not overused importantly which you find a lot of power metal they put the keys way at the front and I go straight yep. home 
Um, you check out at that point in time. Yeah, it, it was heavy enough to get thrashy, and that mm. always makes me happy, but also got proggy in parts without sort of falling into its own self-importance. It was just really, really, really well done. Um, nice instrumentation. Sounded kick-ass for me. I mm. really like the production on it. Um, the quieter or the slower moments I thought were really well placed to break the album up. If I do have, again, any criticism, it's a bit long. Probably could have knocked a couple of tracks off, I think. But there you go. Still loved it. Nine out of ten for me. Wow. Highlights were Never, Black Rain, Nightmare, and Addicted to Serenity. Cool. Well, straight off, this is impressive with the way it leaps out of you. I love the vocal and the synth work straight off the bat with yeah. this record. Yeah. I got the same Dio vibe that, that mm. you did straight away. Okay. Uh, solid performances across the board. It's got great riffs, fantastic lead work, and harmonies on the guitars as well. Mm. The synth plays well off and against that and the vocal yeah. too. Like it knows when to come in and come out and sit back and push forward. Like that part was really well orchestrated. And then you got the drums and the bass, they're tight as fuck on this and, and give this thing a really pounding foundation. The vocals are very much in the vein of, of Dio for my, but not even close to rip off. It's like, mm. you know, you model yourself after someone, but this is just going to do your own thing on top of that. Really well performed across the board and everything serves the songs. Composition is awesome. Uh, great use of space and feel in this. The darkness works really well in this too. I love how the energy and the tempo shifts effort effortlessly with these songs. This is cool, riveting, and fun. It gets you pumped up pretty mm. nicely too. It's got a good energy to it. If you like melodic metal, metal at all, I reckon you should check this out. This is one of the ones definitely up there. Um, the lyrics go hand in hand with that aspect. Uh, well written stuff. It all ties together, flows well. Nice stories and weight within the songs. The deeper I get into it, the more I found myself enjoying this record production's pretty good a little rough around the edges which actually suits the style like they didn't polish this to a stupid degree they just no. sort of kept it with a bit of grit around a bit rough around the edges to keep it so you know that what they're doing is actually the real thing and that, that feels really good and, and suits the style and they didn't go for the whole polish the fuck out of the synth and that they just mm. got to let it work itself out into the song just just Everything well about it is well just, captured. yeah. You know. Get it in a room, play the song, yeah. and capture it, and, and and go. They've done that, and everything that needs to come to the front, the vocals included, come up, and then when they don't need to, they can go back a bit. They push them back and let something else. The push and pull on the album was fantastic. Uh, same thing with the synth, and the grit on the vocals and the guitar. That was done really well too. The way that played off in there. For the most part, this is pretty pumping sort of stuff. It comes out mm. of the speakers pretty loud, but when it drops back and there's some depth and space mm. coming into this. It's accented really well and throws back to the 80s with the really big reverbs mm. applied to them. And it sounds so good, you just want to crank this fucking thing as far as I'm concerned. The album flow is really, really well thought out and takes you on a fantastic journey. Heaps of energy, great slow moments, uh, some great use of different flavors and things like the guitar to really break things up, but it all flows together so very well. This is a really well-crafted and riveting listen. This is another one where you sit there and go for album craft mm. alone. That was really well done. I thought that was cool. Um, it's a genuine metal record that has completely slipped by me. Like, yeah. I don't know how I'd never heard of this. This whole band slipped by me. Yeah, um, Nick found a gem. Nick, you suck at this. Um, <laughs> uh, I thank you for finding good music for us. But just tell us about it and save, you know, this for whatever. Just don't waste your torture slots. You only get it to do it once a year. Um, great balance with the lengths of the tracks as well. That was important. Yeah. Uh, I just think it's powerful stuff. It's... The only one track that kind of lost me was Memories. I didn't think that track fit on this album. It, yeah. it just it stood out. And it's you like, usually get one on these albums. Yeah, and, and just, if that was the one, yeah, cut yeah. that. Mm. Just cut that song. It didn't need to be there. Um, it's not a shit song. It just doesn't fit this record. Mm. Uh, the other tracks, though, the bonus tracks included are well worth the addition. So you could have cut the one and still had plenty to go with because the bonus tracks were good. Go to 9 out of 10. Mm. Black Rain, Sanity, Follow Me Part 2, and Bleed were my standouts. I think that's it. Yep, we're all done. So check it out for yourselves. Let us know what you think. You know, when Nick said Angel Dust, I just assumed it was a Faith No More album. Hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah. You've done that. And that's what came up for them. Like, when you tried to mm. Google this album, yeah. it took me ages. Mm. Ages. It took me ages to find <laughs> this particular band. I'm like, yeah. that's all I could find was fucking Faith No More mm. shit everywhere. So, mm. all right. Mm. <laughs>